your Minnesota Fighting Vikings have had a bit of roster turnover this offseason, getting rid of uh, veteran stalwarts like Eric Hendricks and Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen. But General Manager Kwesi Dofa looked at Harrison Smith as like, we can work this out. We can work this out. So they're staying together for the kids. I love it, man. Rap sheet. Uh, the Vikings and safety Harrison Smith agreed to a restructured contract for him to stay in Minnesota, and he gets $8 million with $2 million in incentives in 2023. Harrison Smith, the long tenure Viking star, had strong interest from elsewhere, but he wanted to stay home. And Ben Gessling has uh, some more of the details. Uh, Eight million this season, worth up to two million incentives. He had a number of opportunities to go elsewhere, but decided that he wanted to stay in Minnesota. The restructure should save the Vikings six point seven million in cap space for the twenty twenty three season before incentives. And Harrison Smith, uh, so. Harrison is brilliant. This is amazing. So this is his Instagram story. Uh, it's the same picture that he had texted Chris Thomason earlier in the week uh, when Thomason asked about his future. So now we sort of understand it. So it's got the Hitman logo on the hat, and it's Prince, Minnesota legend, forever, always in purple. Oh, I see me dancing in that purple rain. That's exactly what's happening, man. So I, I love it. And Harrison Smith, it's very rare that you have one team players. And Harrison needs to play his entire career in purple. To me, he's a Hall of Famer, uh, and he's, he's one of the greatest safeties of all time. I absolutely love it, man. And Harrison was due a $14.7 million base salary this year, so a $6.7 million pay cut. Now, this is not a restructure. This is a legitimate pay cut. And like we said before, guys don't take pay cuts out of the goodness of their heart. Uh, Harrison and his agent, I'm sure, scanned the market as like, hey, if I got released, what could I potentially get? Market looked a little bit soft. So taking $8 million bucks, uh, as well as $2 million in incentives. TBD, if they're likely to be earned incentives or not likely to be earned incentives. But either way, the Vikings get cap relief. Harrison still gets a decent paycheck. And he gets to be uh, the captain of this defense for yet another season. And Harrison came in as a 20 12 first round pick, the only first round pick from that year. We, we, we don't talk about the other one. And Harrison Smith for his career, uh, 11 year veteran, six time Pro Bowler, one time first team All Pro 2017. Uh, Should have been a lot more. 946 career tackles, 16 and a half uh, sacks, 34th, uh, 34 interceptions, fifth on the all time Vikings list. He added five of those last season, and he's going to be racking up and stacking up more. Because we said Harrison may benefit the most from Brian Flores coming in because what. So there's a lot of issues with the Dontel defense last year, and the main one was Harrison Smith's lack of blitzing, lack of him uh, playing down the box. Now, he was great uh, in coverage last year, like I said, five interceptions, but what Zimmer did right is put Harrison in the box, have him set the edge, have him blitz, the specter of him blitzing. He averaged th three to four blitzes a game with Zimmer uh, last year with Dontel, and he only had 14 blitzes total. That's going to change since Brian Flores is one of the most blitz-happy defensive coordinators in the game, as well as he loves blitzing his safeties. And Harrison, I think, has a chance for a really nice career renaissance uh, this season. And the Vikings safety room... So you got Harrison Smith, you, Cam Beasy, you got Cam Beasy, who's the starter last season, also has some corner and slot flexibility. Josh Metellus, a special teams captain, as well as has some versatility at safety, can play the slot as well. Lewisine, the hammer, probably the one-for-one -one future replacement for Harrison Smith. He was healthy and ready to go. And Theo Jackson, the pride of Tennessee, uh, played some good special teams last year. So the Vikings are thick, T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick uh, at the safety spot. And really happy to have Harrison Smith back in purple for a 12th season. Maybe this is the final one. And, you know, the whole, hey, taking a pay cut and uh, playing out uh, your entire career with one team where you're a living legend. It's a weird concept, isn't it? Love it, man. Uh, but now the Vikings still have decisions to make with Zadarius Smith and Dalvin Cook, so TBD there. Uh, but really happy that Harrison is back in purple. And they made it work. Seems like all parties are happy, so let's go, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Harrison Smith takes a significant pay cut to remain in purple for 2023. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.